there's a light at the end of a tunnel I know And it feels like the darkest of nights But you're not alone Welcome, Jim and I, to your mid-November relationship and career reading. So it's a general reading, and it may not resonate for you. If it does resonate and you would like a personal reading specific to you, my email will be in the description box below this video. All right. Y'all set your intentions and expect miracles. So what are the messages for Gemini for mid-November in relationship and career? New life, Gemini. Poised, Gemini, and all that glitters. So something may not be what it seems, but you have new life and you are poised for something that's going to make you just leap with joy. So let's get some tarot and see what the messages are for you, Gemini. For mid-November. Seven of Swords, Five of Pentacles, the Star, Five of Swords, Three of Wands, Ace of Cups, and underneath your energy is the Empress, Gemini. So you are in this new life energy, um, this Empress energy. I mean, I just have to show you this, y'all. So you have new life and poised, and both women on this card are leaping up for joy. I mean, there something is going to make you feel so passionate, so fiery, so good. And it looks like, you know what? You're in this energy now, Gemini. Something is making you so, so, so happy. And the Empress is, you know, new, um, it's fertility, <laughs> it's creativity, it's feeling at one within yourself and the universe, um, balanced and just beautiful and nurturing and compassionate and loving. So, you know, this is, your energy is just beautiful. You're poised for something new and new life is coming in your relationship. Um, and there's something that is, um, hidden with, with you for work. Um, something that you have to, something that's not what it seems. So in your energy, you have the seven of swords, the page of swords and poised, poised for this success, this great new energy. So what that tells me is that, um, you are leaving this uh, mental conflict, Gemini. You have kind of uh, been going inward to look at the things in the mind that are not helpful, and you know it. So you're slicing through that energy, and you are allowing those thoughts to be healed and dissolved by the light in your mind. And um, you're coming into the truth of who you are, um, you are re-identifying with yourself, Gemini. You're no longer choosing to see yourself as in lack. Because in your relationships, you have new life, five of pentacles, three of wands. So there's something new coming in for you that's going to, that you are feeling new life about, actually. It's all over the place that you're in this energy of excitement. And joy, leaping for joy, Gemini. That's what I'm going to call you, leaping for joy, Gemini. <laughs> and yeah, you're coming out of this five of pentacles feeling left out. 
um, and you're kind of waiting for something new to come in. You've got things you're working on. You've got ideas in your mind about love. You've got ideas. Um, you're working on like a new perception of love in your own mind and allowing um, it to come in to you from the divine. You're allowing that. Okay, so in your career, you have all the glitters, the star, and the ace of cups. So, you know, what that tells me is that you have been on an inward journey and you have been cleaning up all this energy that's um, no longer helpful. You've allowed yourself to be healed because you have the star. And because of this healing, you have the Ace of Cups. So something new that's going to, it's love. It's going to make you feel love inside. Your cup runneth over, Gemini. And it's offered to you from the divine. So let's get some clarifiers on this beautiful, beautiful energy that is um, that you're in and that is coming to you. Beautiful energy, Gemini. And you haven't um, come to this energy without struggle. I can tell you that, without conflict in the mind. But it's awesome. And it feels really, really good. So let's clarify the cards in relationship and career for Gemini, please. All right, let's see what we have. The Ten of Swords, Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, Four of Wands, whew, Five of Wands, Two of Cups, Seven of Cups, the Hanged Man, and the Page of Cups, and the Nine of Cups, Offer of Love. There's, well, love is coming in. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's see. Let's just see. Right now in your energy with poised, you have the Ten of Swords. So yes, um, conflict in the mind. You have the Five of Swords with the Seven of Swords, and you have the Hanged Man with the Page of Swords. Beautiful. Okay, I can see exactly what's going on. You're leaving the conflict you've had in the mind. You are ending a cycle. You have been going inward to get a new perception of yourself and of the things that you love and want to do. You have asked for a new perception from the divine Gemini, and you've been given it. And it is putting you into this beautiful energy that is making you want to leap with joy because you've let go of this cycle, because it has been dead and done with, and you're letting it completely go. Beautiful. In your love life, um, the Eight of Wands is clarifying new life. So this new life um, is is putting you on a fast paced journey. You may be traveling, um, but there, is, there are messages, um, coming to you of love because you have that with the eight of wands and the page of cups and the two of cups, which is a divine union and the nine of cups, <laughs> which is a wish come true. And you've got wands all over the place. So fiery, passionate energy and love is what I'm seeing. Okay. Let's take it step by step. So your energy I've done with relationships, you have something coming in quickly, a message of love, or you're traveling to someone or someone's traveling to you. With the four of wands, clarifying the five of pentacles, um, you are coming out of this energy of being left out in the cold and coming into this, um, this happiness with um, your idea of home life and family. The Seven of Cups uh, means that you do have a lot of options, more than you know. Um, because you do have something that you're excited about, Gemini, that you love doing, that you're creating, but your, your ship's not come in yet, and you're confused. You're confused about which way to go in, in love. And um, let's see. Um, well, I wouldn't think too hard about it because it looks like there's a message coming in for you with, uh, of love, of something that you, of someone, someone that you love. And, um, 
It's going to make you feel alive again. And it's going to help set you on your new direction. Okay, got it. <laughs> All right, let's see. With um, career and finance, you have the nine of wands clarifying all that glitters. So this is the wounded warrior card. And it's been a battle for you to look at what you've wanted in work. Yeah, you've seen what, uh, you know, what's not worth it. In the world, you have seen that you have gone for things that were looked like they would make you f uh, feel good, but they didn't. So you're no longer going for the ego things or just money. You really are going for what matters in life, helping others, um, healing yourself, um, divine energy. That's your work. You are, you are working with spirit now. And you have the healing energy with the two of cups. Um, so, so you're going to be in a collaboration with someone um, that's going to fill you up with love and work because you have healed um, these past thoughts of lack and being left out. Um, with the ace of cups, you have the page of cups. It's definitely an offer of love in work. Uh, so yeah, I still think you might have an offer of love in love, but in work you have an offer of something that you love to do. Let's get clear, Jim and I. <laughs> so we have the Empress with the Nine of Swords, the Devil, the Ten of Swords, the Five of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so it just tells me you're in this Empress energy because you have, you know, let go of a cycle with the Ten of Swords. You have ended a cycle. You've had to face your shadow with the Devil, and you have literally had sleepless nights and the freaking, you know, dark night of the soul, conflict, you know, challenging energy to come into these, the Empress and the Ace of Pentacles, Gemini, what a beautiful journey you have been on. And what you are coming into is the Empress energy, um, the divine mother, creativity, abundance, prosperity, and you're going to love whatever's next for you, Gemini. <laughs> so that's your reading for mid-November. I hope it helped. And I'll see you next time. Because you are not alone.